According to Einstein's special relativity, the speed of light, denoted by c, is considered a universal constant. It has the same value in a vacuum, regardless of the motion of the source or observer. It is also considered to be an absolute speed limit in our universe. At the speed of light, an object's relativistic mass would theoretically become infinite, which would require an infinite amount of energy to propel it further. This poses a fundamental limitation to accelerating objects to or beyond the speed of light, so it's considered impossible to either increase the speed of light in vacuum or travel faster than light. However, if we forget about all these restrictions and increase the speed of light from its current value, c to infinity, and thus increase the upper bound of speed in our universe, what would we see? It turns out that this change would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe based on the laws of physics as we currently know. Due to the finite speed of light, when we look at objects that are very large distances away from us, the light that is hitting us now will have started from the object quite a long time ago. So in effect, we aren't looking at what the object looks like now, but what it looked like some time ago when the light was emitted. For example, Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the solar system, emits light that radiates outward in all directions, creating an expanding circle. The light circle took about four light years to reach Earth. This means that the light we see from it now left the star about four years ago. Something catastrophic could have happened to Proxima Centauri within those four years, and we can't know about it until four years after. If we stack all the light circles emitted by Proxima Centauri upon each other, they will form a light cone. The light cone widens from the past to the future, with its sides tilted at a fixed angle because the speed of light never changes in the theory of special relativity. The consequence of an event, such as the explosion of Proxima Centauri, can only affect another one, for example, the falling down of a bottle on Earth until the bottle enters the light cone of Proxima Centauri. Causality, the effect that one event can trigger another event, is determined by the speed of light. If the bottle falls before the light from the explosion of Proxima Centauri can reach it, there is no causal relationship between the two events. However, if we increase the speed of light, the light cone will widen as the light can now travel longer distances in the same amount of time. It allows events that were previously outside the light cone of Proxima Centauri now be causally connected. From our perspective, more and more things are happening instantaneously as the speed of light increases, making it harder and harder to tell the causality between them. Moreover, the speed of light would also profoundly affect the scope of the observable universe. Our universe is huge, and based on our observation, the universe is expanding. But cosmic expansion isn't like galaxies racing through empty space at incredibly high velocities. Instead, it is the space itself that expands, pushing the galaxies ever further away from each other. A useful comparison to help you imagine this scenario is to imagine a loaf of raisin bread expanding in an oven. While the raisins remain stationary, they become increasingly distant from each other as the dough rises, much like galaxies moving apart in the expanding universe. When two raisins are initially spaced one centimeters apart and the bread expands by a factor of two in one hour, they will be two centimeters apart at the end. Consequently, from the perspective of one raisin, the other seems to move away at a rate of one centimeters per hour. However, if a raisin starts farther away, say three centimeters apart, it will end up at six centimeters indicating an apparent recession speed of 3 centimeters per hour. This phenomenon mirrors the behavior of galaxies in the expanding universe. Closer galaxies exhibit slower apparent recession rates compared to more distant ones. Thus, cosmic expansion manifests varying velocities rather than a single uniform speed. Although objects are restricted from exceeding the speed of light, this constraint doesn't apply to the expansion velocity of the universe. This is because the universe's expansion is characterized by a percentage rate rather than a fixed speed. As the distance between two points increases, so does the rate at which the universe expands. Thus, 
there exists a particular distance at which the expansion velocity of the universe equals the speed of light. Beyond this distance, light can never reach us because its propagation speed is slower than the expansion of the universe. This boundary is known as the vision horizon, representing the farthest observable extent of the universe from our perspective. However, if we increase the speed of light, the vision horizon will be pushed further and further, which enlarges the scope of the observable universe, allowing light from previously unreachable regions of the universe to reach us. The sky on Earth would seemingly light up. Galaxies and other celestial objects that were once beyond our observable horizon would become visible. Overall, the consequences of increasing the speed of light to infinity would be profound and would likely necessitate a complete re-evaluation of our understanding of fundamental physics and the nature of the universe. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please leave comments and subscribe to this channel.